Say you're asked to create a system with one solution, no solution, or infinite solutions. We learned how to write equations in slope-intercept forms during the linear functions, y equals mx plus b. When we get equations written in that format, we know that they have a solution if they have different slopes. So that means I just need the number in front of x to be different. They can have the same b value or y intercept value, and that can be the solution to your equation, but we know there's a solution as long as our slopes, our lines, were to move in different directions. So say I was given the equation 5x minus 2y equals 3, and I need to know a, a second equation that would have one solution to that. So, so I'm going to take this equation and rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So I start by taking the 5 away so that I get negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 3. Now I need to divide 2 off of everything, which leaves me with y equals 5 halves x minus 3 halves. So because I had a negative divided by a negative, I have a positive. Positive divided by negative goes negative. So I know that the slope of this line is 2, two and a half or 5 halves. That means if I took this equation, this equation actually has infinite solutions to this because it's the same line, it's just really written in slope-intercept form. So if you're looking for infinite solutions, you can just have this paired with this. So infinite is actually where we're going to start off, and that's the 5x minus 2y equals 3, and y equals 5 halves x minus 3 halves. Now, I need infinite. Well, we know that's the baseline. So this is infinite. I can write a no solution by taking the same slope and just plugging in a different y-intercept. Because if it has the same slope, but a different y-intercept, they hit the y-axis at different points, but then they move in the exact same direction. So they're never going to intersect or collide, cross. So I can just write my second line. So y equals 5 halves x, and then I can have a plus 4. This line crosses the y-intercept at nine, uh, negative 3 halves. This one is crossing it at 4, and because the slopes are the same, they're never going to cross. Then, for one solution, all I need for one solution is to just have a different slope. So I'm going to say, let's go with y equals negative 2x. Um, we'll go plus 3. All right? Because I have different slopes, this at some point is going to cross and collide. If I'm not being asked to provide the solution, that's all I need to do. This paired to that has one solution. This paired to that, no solution. This paired to that has infinite because they're the same lines.